There are lots of words that I can think of to describe Mike. Plausible, respectable, a safe bet. An abuser? I'd have laughed. I mean, I know what an abuser looks like. I mean, everybody does. I was so wrong. Why did I marry him? Well, mainly it was because of loneliness. And I mean, after all, I told you, Mike seemed like Mr. Wright. So we got married and he moved in. One day, I challenged him about money. And then the physical abuse started. He started to punch me, hit me, push me, kick me. He would grab my hair and throw me down on the ground. People wonder why you put up with it, why you don't do anything. But the simple truth is that a part of you doesn't believe it's actually happening to you. Things like that don't happen to people like me. Living in a nice detached house, in a middle class housing estate. The problem was, I wasn't the only person to think that way. It wouldn't have been so bad if the kids hadn't been involved, but, but they were. And he abused them too. He burnt the back of my son's neck with a hot spoon. The school nurse noticed and I lied. I was ashamed that I'd allowed it to happen. Fancy, you'd think you'd put your family first rather than appearances. But I didn't. I stayed. You see, I wasn't sure that I could start again. I, I thought I, I wouldn't meet anyone else. But that wore thin and I got to breaking point. So I went to the police. But when they looked at me, they saw somebody with money, a nice house, a, a smart car and a husband with a good job. It happened again. Uh, they had a word with him. Only he charmed his way out of it again. And so the abuse continued. Only the thumps got harder and more frequent. It was my son Jack who sorted it out in the end. He found Mike kicking the dog and he threw Mike out. Only that wasn't the end of it. You see, Mike got his friends to harass me. There were texts, phone calls. Eventually, I got a solicitor and she managed to get a, a non-molestation order against him but he just ignored it. I started keeping a diary, logging everything that happened, and the solicitor went back to court. That worked, or at least something did. He moved away. I sold the house. I paid him off. Even abusers have rights. And I paid off all his debts that he'd run up. I'd like to say I'm free of him, but I'm not completely. Sometimes I, I lie awake at night and, uh, and I ask myself why. And the simple answer is, I went by appearances. And when I asked for help, so did everyone else. I put up with it for Nearly 20 years, it's not easy to forgive yourself for something like that. Every victim of an abuser is different. But in the end, 
every abuser is the same. It's all about power. Whether they're wearing an overall or a smart suit.